Welcome to Construction Marketing 101. So today I want to talk a little bit about the most successful company of all time, Apple, and what Apple taught us about marketing and how you can apply it to your construction business. This is uh, something that you guys may have seen before. It's the what, why, and the how of marketing. Now, um, I didn't draw these little spirals out here just so that you guys would get all dizzy and confused and things like that. I want you guys to think about how marketing um, works as far as your what, your why, and your how. So at the begin, at the middle of it all, you have your why. Now I'm thinking about uh, one of my really good friends named Josh, who, uh, well, we work out with him, and he's been falling off the gym lately. Now he's an accountant, much to his uh, chagrin or whatnot, but he um, he doesn't have a strong enough why to work super long days and then make it to the gym outside of that as well. So. The why is kind of the core of any marketing effort. It's the core of any reason that somebody should do things. It's also the core of why your customers are getting into communication with you. Above the why is the how. So how do you do what you do? What, what makes you competitively different than somebody in your business? And what do those features mean? How do they contribute to your why? And by the way, how do those contribute to your what? And the what is kind of this outside of the circle. Now, if you don't know what you do for a living, I can't really help you out too much, but you might need to uh, find another business consultant or something like that, or you might need to go to the loony bin too. But at the end of the day, the what of what you do is what you do for your business and how that impacts and affects your customers. So when you take into mind this, this uh, typical uh, marketing, marketing element, most people start on the outside and they go in. So they start with their what. They start with what they do for a living. I am a roofer, I do roofs, I am a plumber, I, I do pipes and plumbing, I'm an electrician, I work with electrical elements. And they start here. Apple, on the other hand, started here. They started in the middle, they started in the beginning by some nerdy guy in a turtleneck named Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs came in and he came in with his iPod and he said, he said, we're going to change your life. That was his why. We're going to make music more accessible. We're going, we're going to completely and totally revolutionize technology. That was the why. Now, how is he going to do that? Well, he's going to provide a certain, in his case, a product, and it's going to feed this why. And what is it? Well, it was an iPod. And this is where all those technical specs came into play. This is where he talks about how much memory it has, how much storage it has. Now what does that mean for you? Well, let's kind of talk about that a little bit. So um, again, when it comes to what you do for a living, hopefully to God you have an answer for that. But let's dig into it a little bit and talk specifically about, about what that should mean. So what types of things do people want to hear about what you do? Well, you can talk about quality. Quality can mean many things. It can mean appearance. It can mean aesthetic features. It can mean longevity. It can mean something that is going to last for a while when, whenever they get a product or service done. Or it can just strictly mean the quality of the service. It's your competitive advantage as far as what makes you different from what types of things that your competitors do. And that can be your what? The quality of the product. The how. So I'm going to skip the why. The how. Mm -hmm. How do you do these things, right? So this is where education comes into play. You might have to educate your customers on your process. You might have to educate them on what they need, what you need, what your process is behind the entire element. Educate, educate your consumer, educate them on, on what makes you different, on how you do your process, and how it makes your business different than somebody else's. Your why. I think this is the most overlooked feature of any marketing. That's why I put it in the middle. That's why I saved it for last as well. But a why of why you're into what you do. I feel like people are often remiss to stand up for what they believe in these days, especially with what we have going on with cancel culture and, and all sorts of people with all sorts of different opinions, a lot of them which are shunned on social media. And we see this every day, if we're being honest. We see lots of circumstances and examples of people arguing with one another over what they believe in on the internet, ultimately achieving nothing. But I think that we can spin this and make it a positive and follow Apple's example. So why do you do what you do? 
let's let's talk examples. You know, why are you into roofing, for example? Well, it could be because I want for people to have a, a nice uh, shelter over their head. I want for people to feel protected. I want for my family to be able to be fed. And by the way, sometimes that why is with selfish motive too. Sometimes the why is strictly financial. Sometimes, you know, you're into this business because you're freaking good at it and, you know, you know you can make a lot of money doing it. And guess what? That's okay. But with that said, sometimes that might not be what we want to represent towards our customers either, right? But we could spin that and make it a good thing. We could say, so that I can spend more time with my family. We could say, so that I can spend more time volunteering, so that I can spend more time doing what I love to do. You could even go so far as to say, the reason that I do what I do and I choose to do what I do is because, in my case, it's because I want to be my own boss, right? So I want you guys to think about Construction Marketing 101, what your why is. Start here, dig deep, find the reasons why you're in business. Find how you do it as well. What makes you different? What gives you the competitive advantage over your competitors? And well, I can't really help you with what you do too much, but I can certainly put you in contact with somebody that might be able to help you with that. Anyway, until next time guys, thanks.